is hell or the lake of fire, is that forever or is a person immediately destroyed? Are they annihilated? Well, according to the scripture, for some people, unfortunately, hell, the lake of fire, uh, death is forever. Now, even though that might not make sense to think that something can burn forever and never stop burning, that something won't be burned up, we actually do have an example in the Bible where something was burning and it did not end. Think about it. Moses turns aside to see a bush that's burning and he turns aside. What catches attention is that it's burning and it never burns up. So it is possible for God to burn something and it never stop burning. We have this example spoken of in a negative sense about those that will not be with the father forever. As a matter of fact, in Daniel 12, 2, we see this uh, statement here. He says, many of those who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake these to everlasting life. Look at the word that's used here. The Hebrew word here is olam, and we understand what everlasting life is. That's life into the age or, in, or into eternity. The same word is used again, others to disgrace and everlasting contempt. And this word for everlasting contempt is the same word for ever, that's used for everlasting life, olam. And so unless the word just changed meanings within the span of a few words, it still means forever. And so you cannot say that this contempt is not going to be forever. It's going to, and by the way, this word for contempt that we use here, it is this Hebrew word that tells us, speaks about abhorrence. So forever you would be abhorred. What does that mean that you're going to burn forever? Well, not necessarily just with that verse, but as we see when Jesus speaks about the matter in Matthew 25, 41, he says, then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, accursed ones into eternal fire, which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. Now, this eternal fire that's been prepared for the devil and his angels, let's go to Revelation 20 and we'll see what happens in Revelation 20. He tells us that, and the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are also, and they will be tormented. How long? Day and night. And look at the term forever. I don't ask time on him. so into the ages into the ages forever and ever this is going to happen forever and ever he tells us another time jesus says in mark 9 starting in 44 but i want to drop down where he says that uh where the worm never dies and the fire is not, not quenched about if you if your foot or any part of your body causes you to sin cut it off because it's better to go into hell i mean to heaven than to go into hell and look what he says in verse 43, hail into the unquenchable fire where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. So we keep saying this term over and over and over again where the fire is not quenched. The fire is not the word quenched is for the word suppressed. The fire does not go out. And then notice how Jesus says in Revelation 9, 20, he says, he will also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is mixed in full strength in the cup of his anger and he will be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and the smoke of their torment. That's what he says. The smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they have no rest day and night. Those who worship the beast. Now, the point is torment is going to be forever. There are going to be those that think, well, that's not right. Well, no, what's not right is you trusting in a holy God that's done everything that he could do or needs to do for your salvation. You have the opportunity. You have the opportunity to not go to a place like that. You have the opportunity. You have the ability to place your faith in him. I would recommend whether you think, even if you disagree and you think that hell is but a moment, that's not a good, that's not a good choice either way. But the fact is, you are going to be tormented. Now, how that's going to work out, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. And guess what? Plan never to know. And I would say the same thing for you. I've been someplace where you're not being physically tormented, though there have been those that were physically tormented, but just the, the fact of being away from your family, the fact of being separated from them forever, and also being separated from God, that is tormenting enough. But then where he says the, where the fire the smoke of their torment never ends. They are tormented day and night forever. You can go, you can deal with this issue of whether that's the right thing with a just God. Do that if you want to. I think the best thing to think about is being with him forever. And it's just as simple as making a choice, placing your faith in Christ. Regardless of your soteriological stance on how that can happen, place your faith in Christ. 
and avoid being tormented day and night. Hell, unfortunately for some people are going to find out hell is forever. It's not a one night stay. It's not an overnight trip. It is forever. And so it behoove you this day, the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Place your faith in the atoning work of a loving God for you. Amen.